Book Summary The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin Introduction The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin, first published in 1925, is a timeless self-help book that explores the metaphysical principles underlying success and happiness. Shin's teachings are based on her deep understanding of the power of thoughts, words, and actions in shaping our reality. Through a series of practical examples and real-life stories, she reveals the secrets to manifesting abundance, health, and fulfilling relationships. This book summary provides an overview of each chapter, key lessons learned, and how to apply these lessons to daily living. Chapter 1. The Game in the first chapter of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin introduces the concept of life as a game and highlights the importance of our mental attitude and faith in shaping our experiences. She illustrates this idea through various examples that help readers understand the point she makes. Example 1. The Law of Attraction Shin explains that our thoughts and beliefs act as magnets, attracting corresponding experiences into our lives. She shares the story of a woman who constantly worried about money and lived in fear of poverty. As a result, she experienced a continuous lack of financial resources. However, when she began to change her thoughts and cultivate an abundance mindset, opportunities for wealth and prosperity started flowing into her life. This example demonstrates how our thoughts and beliefs directly influence the outcomes we experience. By recognizing the power of our mental attitude and consciously choosing positive thoughts and beliefs, we can shift our reality and attract more favorable circumstances. Example 2. The Power of Faith Shin emphasizes the significance of faith in the game of life. She narrates the story of a man who, despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, maintained unwavering faith in his abilities and the support of a higher power. Eventually, he achieved remarkable success and overcame obstacles that seemed insurmountable. Through this example, Shin highlights the transformative power of faith. When we have faith in ourselves and trust in a higher power, we tap into a source of inner strength and resilience. This enables us to navigate through difficulties with courage and persevere until we reach our goals. Example 3. The Influence of Self-Image Shin discusses how our self-image shapes our experiences in the game of life. She shares the story of a woman who had low self-esteem and constantly criticized herself. Consequently, she attracted situations and relationships that reinforced her negative self-image. However, as she began to practice self-love and affirm her worthiness, she noticed a significant shift in her experiences. Positive people and opportunities entered her life, reflecting her newfound self-confidence. This example demonstrates that how we perceive and value ourselves directly impacts the kind of experiences we attract. By cultivating a positive self-image and treating ourselves with love and respect, we send out a signal to the universe that we deserve abundance, joy, and fulfilling relationships. Conclusion Chapter 1 of The Game of Life and How to Play It emphasizes the crucial role of our mental attitude and faith in creating a fulfilling life. Through compelling examples, Florence Scovel Shin illustrates how our thoughts, beliefs, and self-perception influence the outcomes we experience. By recognizing the power we hold in shaping our reality, we can consciously choose positive thoughts, cultivate faith, and develop a healthy self-image. In doing so, we empower ourselves to play the game of life with optimism, resilience, and the belief that we can manifest our deepest desires. Chapter 2, The Law of Prosperity In Chapter 2 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin explores the law of prosperity and reveals how our thoughts and beliefs about abundance shape our financial circumstances. To enhance understanding, 
Shin provides examples that illustrate the principles she presents. Example 1. Shifting from scarcity to abundance. Shin introduces a character named Sarah who constantly complained about her financial situation, believing that there was never enough money. Consequently, she experienced a constant struggle to make ends meet. However, as Sarah began to shift her mindset and affirm the abundance of the universe, her financial circumstances improved. She attracted new job opportunities, unexpected windfalls, and supportive connections that contributed to her prosperity. This example demonstrates the power of our thoughts and beliefs in creating our financial reality. When we adopt an attitude of lack and scarcity, we attract situations that confirm those beliefs. Conversely, by cultivating thoughts of abundance and trust in the universe's infinite supply, we open ourselves up to new opportunities and experiences of prosperity. Example 2. Giving and Receiving. Shin emphasizes the importance of giving as a key principle of prosperity. She shares the story of Michael, a struggling artist who decided to share his talent by painting murals for children in a hospital. As Michael selflessly gave his artistic gifts, his financial circumstances dramatically improved. He received offers for commissioned work, gained recognition, and experienced an increased flow of abundance in his life. This example illustrates the principle that giving and receiving are interconnected. When we give generously, whether through our time, talents, or resources, we create a positive energetic flow that attracts abundance back into our lives. By sharing our gifts with others, we align ourselves with the law of prosperity and open ourselves to receiving greater blessings. Example 3. Trusting in Divine Supply. Shin highlights the importance of trusting in the universe's unlimited supply of abundance. She shares the story of Emma, who constantly worried about her financial future and felt a constant sense of lack. However, as Emma began to cultivate faith in a higher power and trust that her needs would be met, she witnessed a significant transformation. Opportunities for financial growth and unexpected blessings entered her life, providing her with a sense of security and prosperity. This example emphasizes that trust in the divine supply is a vital aspect of manifesting prosperity. When we let go of worry and fear and trust that the universe will provide for our needs, we align ourselves with the flow of abundance. This trust allows us to act from a place of confidence and openness, attracting greater financial opportunities and resources. Conclusion Chapter 2 of The Game of Life and How to Play It delves into the law of prosperity and its influence on our financial circumstances. Through compelling examples like Sarah, Michael, and Emma, Florence Scovel Shin illustrates how our thoughts, beliefs, giving, and trust in the universe's abundance shape our experiences of prosperity. By shifting from scarcity to abundance, giving generously, and trusting in divine supply, we align ourselves with the law of prosperity and open ourselves to a greater flow of financial abundance. By applying these principles in our daily lives, we can manifest greater financial well-being and create a foundation of prosperity. Chapter 3. The Power of the Word. In Chapter 3 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin explores the profound influence of our words on our experiences and outcomes. She highlights the creative power of our speech and provides scenarios that help readers fully grasp the points she makes. Scenario 1. Negative Self-Talk. Shin introduces the character of Lisa, who constantly engaged in negative self-talk. She would often say things like, I'm not smart enough, or, I always mess things up. As a result, Lisa experienced a lack of confidence and encountered repeated failures. However, when Lisa became aware of her negative self-talk and consciously replaced those statements with positive affirmations, her life took a positive turn. 
she began to believe in her abilities and saw remarkable improvements in various areas of her life. This scenario illustrates how our words shape our self-perception and ultimately affect our experiences. Negative self-talk reinforces limiting beliefs and creates a self-fulfilling prophecy of failure. By consciously choosing positive, affirming statements about ourselves, we can reprogram our subconscious mind and attract positive outcomes. Scenario 2. Speaking Words of Healing Shin discusses the power of our words to bring healing and transformation. She shares the story of Mark, who suffered from chronic pain and illness. Instead of dwelling on his ailments and using negative language to describe his condition, Mark began affirming statements of health and vitality. Gradually, his physical health improved, and he experienced a remarkable recovery. This scenario demonstrates that our words have the ability to influence our physical well-being. By speaking words of healing and affirming our desired state of health, we tap into the body's innate capacity for healing and create a positive environment for wellness to flourish. Scenario 3. Manifesting Desires Through Affirmations Shin emphasizes the power of affirmations to manifest our desires. She introduces the character of Sarah, who desired a fulfilling career in a specific field but struggled to find opportunities. Sarah started affirming statements such as, I attract fulfilling work aligned with my passion, and opportunities effortlessly come my way. As she consistently repeated these affirmations, doors began to open for Sarah, leading her to her desired career path. This scenario showcases the creative power of affirmations in manifesting our desires. By consciously choosing and repeating positive statements related to our goals and aspirations, we align our thoughts and beliefs with the outcomes we desire, thus attracting corresponding opportunities and experiences. Conclusion Chapter 3 of The Game of Life and How to Play It delves into the transformative power of our words. Through scenarios like negative self-talk, healing language, and manifesting through affirmations, Florence Scovel Shin illustrates how our speech influences our self-perception, physical well-being, and ability to manifest our desires. By becoming aware of our words and consciously choosing positive, affirming language, we can harness the creative power of our speech to shape our reality. By applying these principles in our daily lives, we can transform our experiences, attract positive outcomes, and consciously create a life filled with joy, abundance, and fulfillment. Chapter 4. The Law of Non-Resistance in Chapter 4 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin explores the concept of non-resistance and its role in creating a harmonious and abundant life. She presents a scenario that helps readers fully understand the point she makes. Scenario Dealing with Unexpected Job Loss Imagine a character named David who unexpectedly loses his job. Initially, David reacts with frustration and anger, feeling victimized by the circumstances. He holds on to resentment towards his former employer and spends his energy blaming others for his misfortune. As a result, David finds it difficult to move forward and struggles to find new job opportunities. However, David comes across Shin's teachings and learns about the power of non-resistance. He realizes that by resisting and holding onto negative emotions, he is only prolonging his suffering and limiting his possibilities. Inspired to change his mindset, David decides to embrace non-resistance and surrender to the flow of life. Instead of dwelling on the past and feeling bitter, David chooses to focus on the present moment and trust in divine guidance. He releases his attachment to his previous job and opens himself up to new opportunities, believing that something better awaits him. David starts networking, exploring different career paths, and cultivating a positive attitude. 
As David practices non-resistance, he notices a shift in his circumstances. He receives unexpected job leads, connects with individuals who offer valuable advice and support, and discovers a field that aligns with his true passions. Eventually, David lands a job that not only provides financial stability but also brings him a sense of fulfillment and joy. Through this scenario, Shin illustrates the power of non-resistance in transforming challenging situations. By releasing resistance and embracing the present moment, David creates space for new possibilities to emerge. His shift in attitude allows him to navigate the job loss with grace and open himself up to a brighter future. Conclusion Chapter 4 of The Game of Life and How to Play It explores the concept of non-resistance and its impact on our experiences. Through the scenario of David's unexpected job loss, Florence Scovel Shin demonstrates the transformative power of embracing non-resistance. By releasing resistance, surrendering to the flow of life, and trusting in divine guidance, we create a space for new opportunities to unfold. Applying the principle of non-resistance enables us to navigate challenges with grace and open ourselves up to a brighter future. By consciously practicing non-resistance in our daily lives, we can create a more harmonious, abundant, and fulfilling existence. Chapter 5. The Law of Karma and the Law of Forgiveness In Chapter 5 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin delves into the concepts of karma and forgiveness. She emphasizes the importance of releasing negative energy and forgiving others and ourselves to create harmony and attract positive experiences. To further illustrate these points, let's consider the following scenario. Scenario. Healing family relationships. Imagine a character named Sarah who has a strained relationship with her parents. Throughout her life, Sarah has held on to resentment, hurt, and anger towards them due to past conflicts and misunderstandings. This bitterness has affected her overall well-being, creating a negative energy that permeates her interactions and experiences. Sarah comes across Shin's teachings and realizes the significance of forgiveness in transforming her relationships and her own life. She understands that by holding on to grudges and negative emotions, she is perpetuating a cycle of negative energy and limiting her own growth. With this newfound understanding, Sarah makes a conscious decision to forgive her parents and release the negative emotions that have burdened her for years. She acknowledges that forgiveness is not condoning the past actions, but rather freeing herself from the emotional baggage that has been weighing her down. Sarah begins the process of forgiveness by engaging in inner work, such as journaling and reflecting on her own role in the conflicts. She gains a deeper understanding of her parents' perspectives and realizes that they, too, are flawed human beings who may have acted out of their own pain and limitations. Through introspection and empathy, Sarah experiences a profound shift in her perception of her parents. She chooses to focus on their positive qualities, their efforts, and the love they have shown her at various times. As a result, Sarah's heart opens up, and she starts to communicate with her parents from a place of compassion and understanding. Over time, Sarah's relationship with her parents begins to heal. They engage in open and honest conversations, express their feelings, and work towards resolving past conflicts. As forgiveness becomes a part of their interactions, trust and love are rekindled, creating a foundation for a healthier and more harmonious relationship. Through this scenario, Shin illustrates the transformative power of forgiveness in healing relationships and creating a more positive life experience. By releasing resentment, bitterness, and negative emotions, Sarah is able to break free from the karmic cycle of pain and create space for healing and growth. Conclusion Chapter 5 of The Game of Life and How to Play It explores the laws of karma and forgiveness. 
Through the scenario of Sarah's healing family relationships, Florence Scovel Shin highlights the profound impact of forgiveness in releasing negative energy and transforming our experiences. By choosing forgiveness, we break free from the karmic cycle of pain, create harmony in our relationships, and open ourselves up to love and healing. Applying the principles of karma and forgiveness in our daily lives allows us to cultivate compassion, understanding, and ultimately, experience a greater sense of peace and fulfillment. Chapter 6. Casting the Burden In Chapter 6 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin explores the concept of casting our burdens onto a higher power and trusting in divine guidance. She emphasizes the importance of surrender and releasing the need for control to allow miracles to unfold. To illustrate this point, let's consider the following scenario. Scenario, Overcoming Financial Struggles Imagine a character named Michael who is facing severe financial struggles. He has been tirelessly searching for a job but is unable to secure employment. The mounting debts and financial pressure have taken a toll on his mental and emotional well-being. Despite his best efforts, Michael feels stuck and helpless in his situation. One day, Michael comes across Shin's teachings and discovers the concept of casting his burden onto a higher power. Inspired by the idea of surrendering his financial worries, he decides to release his attachment to the outcome and place his trust in the universe. Michael starts by practicing daily affirmations and prayers, expressing gratitude for the financial abundance that is on its way to him. He actively lets go of his anxiety and shifts his focus from lack to a mindset of abundance and divine guidance. Instead of constantly worrying about job opportunities, he directs his energy towards honing his skills and taking positive actions. As Michael continues to surrender his financial burdens, he notices a series of synchronicities and unexpected blessings. He receives job leads from unexpected sources, connects with individuals who offer guidance and support, and stumbles upon a side gig that provides temporary financial relief. With each step, Michael's faith in the universe's abundant provision deepens. He realizes that by releasing his need for control and trusting in divine guidance, he opens himself up to opportunities that align with his highest good. Eventually, Michael secures a job that not only meets his financial needs but also brings him fulfillment and growth in unexpected ways. Through this scenario, Shin illustrates the power of casting our burdens onto a higher power and surrendering to divine guidance. By releasing the need for control and trusting in the universe's infinite wisdom, Michael creates space for miracles to manifest in his life. Through his faith and willingness to let go, he attracts the right opportunities at the right time and experiences a transformation in his financial circumstances. Conclusion Chapter 6 of The Game of Life and How to Play It explores the concept of casting our burdens onto a higher power and surrendering to divine guidance. Through the scenario of Michael's journey to overcome financial struggles, Florence Scovel Shin demonstrates the transformative power of surrender and trust. By releasing the need for control and placing faith in the universe's abundant provision, we open ourselves up to miracles and unexpected blessings. Applying the principles of casting the burden and surrendering in our daily lives allows us to experience a greater sense of peace, flow, and alignment with the divine. Chapter 7. Love. In Chapter 7 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin emphasizes the power of love as the ultimate creative force. She explores how cultivating love within ourselves and expressing it towards others can transform our relationships and bring about joy and fulfillment. To help illustrate this point, let's consider the following scenario. Scenario. Healing a strained friendship. Imagine a character named Emily who has a strained friendship with her longtime best friend, Sarah. Over time, 
misunderstandings and conflicts have created a rift between them, leading to distance and resentment. Both Emily and Sarah long for the closeness they once shared but are unsure how to mend their relationship. Emily comes across Shin's teachings and recognizes the importance of love in healing and transforming relationships. She decides to take the initiative to reconnect with Sarah and rebuild their friendship based on a foundation of love, understanding, and forgiveness. Emily begins by examining her own thoughts and emotions towards Sarah. She recognizes her role in the conflicts and takes responsibility for her own actions. Instead of harboring resentment, she chooses to let go of past grievances and opens her heart to love and compassion for her friend. With this newfound perspective, Emily reaches out to Sarah with a heartfelt apology and an expression of love and appreciation. She shares her desire to heal their friendship and rebuild trust. Emily listens empathetically to Sarah's feelings and experiences, allowing space for honest communication and understanding. Over time, as Emily consistently shows love, compassion, and support towards Sarah, their friendship begins to heal. They engage in open conversations, express gratitude for their shared experiences, and make efforts to rebuild trust. Through acts of kindness, forgiveness, and mutual understanding, they create a new, stronger bond. As their friendship deepens, both Emily and Sarah experience a renewed sense of joy, fulfillment, and companionship. The power of love has not only healed their relationship but has also brought about personal growth and transformation for both individuals. Through this scenario, Shin illustrates the transformative power of love in healing and restoring relationships. By cultivating love within ourselves and expressing it towards others, we can dissolve barriers, release resentment, and create a space for understanding and connection. Love has the ability to bring joy, harmony, and fulfillment into our relationships, leading to a deeper sense of happiness and well-being. Conclusion Chapter 7 of The Game of Life and How to Play It explores the power of love as a transformative force in our relationships. Through the scenario of Emily's journey to heal a strained friendship, Florence Scovel Shin demonstrates the profound impact of love in restoring connections and fostering personal growth. By cultivating love within ourselves, expressing it towards others, and practicing forgiveness and understanding, we can transform our relationships and experience a deeper sense of joy and fulfillment. Applying the principles of love in our daily lives allows us to create harmonious and meaningful connections enhancing our overall well-being and happiness. Chapter 8. Intuition or Guidance In Chapter 8 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin explores the importance of intuition and divine guidance in making wise decisions. She emphasizes the power of listening to our inner voice and trusting the insights that come to us. To help readers fully understand this point, Let's consider the following scenario. Scenario. Choosing the right career path. Imagine a character named Alex who is at a crossroads in their career. They have been feeling dissatisfied and unfulfilled in their current job and are contemplating making a significant change. However, they are uncertain about which career path to pursue and feel overwhelmed by the abundance of options available. Alex comes across Shin's teachings and recognizes the significance of tapping into their intuition and seeking divine guidance to make the right decision. They decide to embark on a journey of self-discovery and inner listening. Alex begins by creating moments of stillness and quiet in their life. They practice meditation and engage in activities that bring them peace and clarity, such as spending time in nature or journaling. Through these practices, they create a space for their intuition to speak to them. As they tune in to their inner voice, Alex starts to receive subtle nudges, signs, and synchronicities that point them in the direction of their true calling. 
They pay attention to their gut feelings and follow the insights that arise during these moments of connection with their intuition. Along the way, Alex seeks guidance from a mentor or coach who specializes in career transitions. Through this support, they gain clarity and receive guidance that aligns with their deepest desires and values. The mentor helps them explore their strengths, passions, and talents, guiding them towards a career path that is in harmony with their authentic self. As Alex embraces their intuition and follows the guidance received, they find themselves drawn towards a specific field that ignites their passion and aligns with their purpose. They take the necessary steps to transition into this new career, feeling a sense of excitement and alignment that they had never experienced before. Through this scenario, Shin illustrates the transformative power of intuition and divine guidance in making life choices. By creating space for inner listening, trusting gut feelings, and seeking guidance from mentors or coaches, Alex taps into their true calling and discovers a career path that brings them fulfillment and joy. Conclusion Chapter 8 of The Game of Life and How to Play It explores the significance of intuition and divine guidance in decision-making. Through the scenario of Alex's journey to choose the right career path, Florence Scovel Shin demonstrates the transformative power of tuning into our inner voice and trusting the insights that come to us. By creating moments of stillness, seeking support from mentors, and following our intuition, we align ourselves with our authentic desires and purpose. Applying the principles of intuition and divine guidance in our daily lives allows us to make wise decisions and embark on paths that bring us fulfillment, aligning us with a life of meaning and purpose. Chapter 9. Perfect Self-Expression or the Divine Design In Chapter 9 of The Game of Life and How to Play It, Florence Scovel Shin explores the concept of perfect self-expression and the importance of embracing our authenticity and unique talents. She emphasizes that each individual has a divine design and a purpose to fulfill. To help readers fully understand this point, let's consider the following scenario. Scenario Embracing Artistic Talent Imagine a character named Maya who has always felt a deep passion for art. She possesses a natural talent for painting and has been creating art since she was a child. However, due to societal expectations and pressures, Maya pursued a different career path that seemed more practical and secure, leaving her artistic aspirations unfulfilled. One day, Maya comes across Shin's teachings and is inspired to explore the concept of perfect self-expression. She realizes that she has been suppressing her true passion and talents, denying herself the opportunity to fully express her authentic self. Maya decides to embark on a journey of self-discovery and creative exploration. She begins by setting aside time for art rekindling her love for painting and engaging in artistic activities that bring her joy. As she immerses herself in her creative process, Maya experiences a sense of flow and deep fulfillment. Along her journey, Maya encounters individuals who recognize her talent and encourage her to pursue her passion seriously. She attends art classes and workshops, connecting with a supportive community of artists who inspire and challenge her to grow. As Maya embraces her authentic calling, she starts to share her artwork with the world. She participates in local art exhibitions, creates an online portfolio, and begins selling her pieces. Through her art, Maya communicates her unique perspective, emotions, and experiences, touching the hearts of others and receiving recognition for her talent. With each brushstroke, Maya realizes that she is living her divine design, expressing her true self, and bringing beauty into the world. Her art becomes a reflection of her soul, and she experiences a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose. Through this scenario, Shin illustrates the transformative power of embracing one's authentic self and unique talents. 
By allowing our true passions and creative abilities to shine, we tap into our divine design and fulfill our purpose. Like Maya, when we embrace our authentic calling and express ourselves fully, we experience a profound sense of joy, fulfillment, and alignment with our true selves. Conclusion Chapter 9 of The Game of Life and How to Play It explores the significance of perfect self-expression and embracing our unique talents. Through the scenario of Maya's journey to embrace her artistic talent, Florence Scovel Shin demonstrates the transformative power of living in alignment with our divine design. By uncovering our true passions, nurturing our talents, and fearlessly expressing ourselves, we tap into our deepest fulfillment and purpose. Applying the principles of perfect self-expression in our daily lives allows us to live authentically, contribute to the world in a meaningful way, and experience a profound sense of joy and alignment with our true selves. Conclusion The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin is a timeless guide that offers profound insights and practical wisdom on manifesting abundance, happiness, and fulfillment. Through each chapter, Shin presents essential lessons that empower readers to transform their lives by harnessing the power of their thoughts, words, actions, and faith in a higher power. Here is a summary of the key takeaways from each chapter and actionable points that readers can implement in their daily lives. 1. The Game Recognize that life is a game, and your mental attitude and faith play a crucial role in shaping your experiences. Takeaway Cultivate a positive mindset, affirmations, and trust in a higher power to create a fulfilling life. 2. The Law of Prosperity, Abundance is Your Birthright. Replace thoughts of lack with thoughts of abundance to attract wealth and opportunities. Takeaway Affirm prosperity, practice generosity, and trust in the infinite supply of the universe. 3. The Power of the Word. Your words have creative energy. Use affirmations and speak words of truth and positivity to manifest desired outcomes. Takeaway Practice mindful speech, avoid negative self-talk, and use affirmations and prayers to shape your reality. 4. The Law of Non-Resistance Resistance to undesirable situations strengthens their hold on you. Surrender to divine will, release resistance, and open yourself up to new possibilities. Takeaway. Practice acceptance, forgiveness, and trust in the divine order of things. 5. The Law of Karma and the Law of Forgiveness. Your actions, thoughts, and beliefs create your karma. Practice forgiveness to release negative karmic patterns and experience healing. Takeaway. Cultivate forgiveness towards others and yourself. Let go of resentment and grudges. 6. Casting the Burden Cast your burdens onto the universe and trust in divine guidance. Let go of control and have faith in the unfolding of miracles. Takeaway Practice surrender, prayer, and visualization of desired outcomes. 7. Love Love is the ultimate creative force. Cultivate love within yourself, radiate it outward, and transform your relationships and personal growth. Takeaway Practice self-love, forgiveness, compassion, and kindness towards others. 8. Intuition or Guidance Trust your intuition and seek divine guidance in making wise decisions. Listen to your inner voice and align your choices with your higher purpose. Takeaway. Practice meditation, mindfulness, and actively seek your inner guidance. 9. Perfect self-expression or the divine design. Embrace your authenticity and unique talents. Fulfill your purpose by expressing yourself fully and following your passions. Takeaway. Identify your passions and talents, courageously pursue your dreams, and live in alignment with your divine design. 
Actionable points. Cultivate positive thoughts, affirmations, and trust in a higher power. Practice generosity and give generously to others. Use affirmations and speak words of positivity and truth. Practice acceptance, forgiveness, and let go of resistance and resentment. Practice surrender, prayer, and visualize desired outcomes. Cultivate self-love, forgiveness, compassion, and kindness towards others. Develop your intuition through meditation, mindfulness, and listening to your inner guidance. Identify your passions and talents and fearlessly pursue your dreams. By implementing these actionable points in their daily lives, readers can apply the teachings of the game of life and how to play it to manifest abundance, happiness, and fulfillment. With a positive mindset, trust in a higher power, and a commitment to personal growth, readers can create a life filled with joy, purpose, and success. Remember, you have the power to play the game of life with wisdom, faith, and the ability to manifest your deepest desires.